So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges plus A to 1 and a reverse in that order. So that way you guys are aware of what's up for the week. Don't forget we have the weekly uh, last call video as well on Sundays. I should probably just say this right off the bat and I will mention this in the last last call video as well. Uh, these videos usually are made for uh, beginner players or like basically not veterans because veterans, you really don't care what I have to say considering you already know what all of this is. This is literally mo mostly pandered towards newer, newer players because uh, obviously you're not going to know what some of these are going to be uh, specifically like for 801, some of the shaders or armor sets that she's selling, you probably won't have or uh, Eververse as well. There's going to be some like ornaments that you probably don't have. So this is literally for new players or everything up until veteran. If you're a veteran, get out of here. This is not for you, but if you want to support the content, that's cool too. Um, this is literally for anyone but veterans. So if you're a veteran and saying this didn't help me a lot, uh, the content's not for you, my guy. So instead of commenting something stupid like, oh yeah, this is not helping me. Um, just realize, yo, 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 maybe this content is not for me. Maybe just maybe this dude is making this content for newer players because again, uh, I want to help out the newer players because they need to get some armor. They need to get more shaders. They need to get more stuff from the game, which is why I'm always going through the vendors. So again, if you're a new player, welcome. This is for you. If you're a veteran player, this is not for you. You can leave if you want. But again, if you want to support the content, that's super dope. I just wanted to mention that and I will mention it again in the last call video and I'll probably just mention it during the all the last call videos because I'm getting sick and tired of idiots t telling me like, oh, this doesn't help me at all. Oh, this is, it's like it's not for you, bro. It's really not. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's look at some of these challenges. So escalating abilities, defeat combatants with abilities, earn bonus progress and overthrow. This is not hard. Your abilities count towards everything from your grenade, your melee, um, hell, probably your fucking uh, class ability if you can kill someone with it. Depending, uh, don't maybe not that one, but pretty much anything like that. Supers as well. Golden treasure, find and open golden chests in the pale heart. So, golden chests would be the these right here. Let me go show you real quick. The cool thing is you can't actually see them. Um, I can't see them because I've gotten them all, but they're usually like some symbols over here that you will see that's not either this or this. It's another symbol. And they're really, really simple to pick up because there's three on each of the locations. So that one shouldn't be too hard. Just look up a guide, which is what I did. Um, boiling point, complete overthrowing the landing, the blooming and the impasse. I don't want to do this because I farmed all of these to death trying to get the uh, the exotic sh uh, gun. I forgot what it's called. Iron sharpens iron. Complete iron banner matches or bonus progress for wins. This one shouldn't be hard. I, it's just gonna annoy some people. Iron banner is back. I don't know what it what is the like game mode. I think it's like you can. It's a like a random playlist. Either way, not hard. Just gonna annoy some people for sure. Boss battle defeat bosses in strikes or vanguard playlist. Bonus progress is granted for defeating bosses on hero difficulty or higher. And then acoustic performance get final blows with primary ammo in gambit or vanguard ops activities earn bonus progress for auto rifle hand cannon or sidearm final blows or by defeating guardians so this is pretty cool uh you can you can complete these two at the same time or roughly at the same time let's go to let's go to uh vanguard real quick just to show you so vanguard uh the bonus was basically if you complete any of these you're gonna get bonus points apparently uh or you could just do this one which is probably what i would do just because most people are not gonna be high enough to do nightfalls which is fair and especially grandmasters uh yeah that's pretty much it so let me know what you guys are gonna be doing for the challenges i i, I really wish we had more story than just the three weeks that we had but i mean whatever uh let's go to 801 real quick so 801 we have Valkyrie Zero. It's a dope shader. It's a really, really good shader. It's a really good black and red if you can find the black and red combos because most of the time you're going to be getting this like like light yellow or this like orange, uh, which is the bad parts in my opinion. You definitely want to get the like 
really dark black and red. I think these two are just so good together. Uh, Echoes of IO Worn. This is the rare version because it's the worn version. We actually didn't have this in year one, if I remember correctly. So that is pretty cool. Uh, War Cult Scheme. This is one of my favorite shaders just because it is a really cool, cool color combo. It's a like deep, rich purple with a gold and white and black. I love all those colors. So you can definitely make this work. I like this so far, and I will talk about this in the fit for the video, which I should have done before, but we can look at it now, I guess. So for the fit for the video, or actually I'll do it after 801, so that way it doesn't mess up the things. So for the armor, it's going to be all right here. I am not the biggest fan of this armor for pretty much everyone um just because for the hunters a lot of it a lot of it is a reskin and it just doesn't look good in my opinion i think the chest piece is the only decent part uh titans the helmet is decent the arms and boots maybe are decent the chest piece is a little too small but it does have a cool collar and the mark i definitely hate uh warlocks everything is pretty trash that being said i do use the bond quite a bit because it does have like electrical wiring in there so i do like to use that for my electrical looks that being said everything else looks fucking terrible so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from a to one for the fit for the video i so i'm going to be reviewing the siege breakers for, uh all of it for all the classes i have pretty much everything recorded i just need to edit it make the voiceover and then i'll be done i'll most likely have that done by the end of this week hopefully but this is one that i made for the boots that being said i'm gonna be i'm gonna keep it a thousand percent honest i would search out the faux tracers for lucky pants honestly because the lucky pants with this would look so, so much better it would look like like one of those like uh because obviously i'm going for the poncho look that everyone has been showcasing which is super cool and yeah i would go for a cowboy look like for real for real um that being said my only gripe is that you can't do a, like the hat because you lose the where's the hat oh here it is you lose the poncho look in my opinion you definitely want some like a scarf there to really or something like this to really make it look like a poncho so you can't have the hat but at the same time like that's fine because the lucky pants is going to be more than enough to be like okay so this is a cowboy clearly but yeah shader game keeper is what we're using just because uh, the browns i really like the browns and it com combines all the colors into one because the first descent cloak i don't know if you saw it from the shader change that we just did but it actually changes uh the color so this actually wouldn't be that bad and if you really wanted to you could probably do this i'm sorry if i'm taking too long for this portion but when i start talking about fashion i get really into it um so yeah if you do this then you'll actually have a cooler look in my opinion i think this looks way way better and with the lucky pants combo it's gonna look super cool so i would most likely go with this combo just because it does look cool or you can do a bunch of things like legitimately fuck you can do a bunch of things like i think this one would be really cool as well just a bunch of stuff so yeah let me know what you guys think about the fit for the video um who's exotic so let's go to uh eververse because i don't even remember what eververse is selling i think she's selling shit that i don't need uh amethyst bloom i feel like i feel like if i use this enough it'll it'll grow on me we have lucid one of my favorite shaders definitely pick it up it's a really good shader for if you're going for like a hive look just because of the green like the light green with the white it just looked or off-white i should say it, it's just such a good combo i use it all the time it's one of my favorite shaders um intrepid discovery mask i will still be making a video on this on this armor set i do apologize that i'm making it late again but i during these videos and the lost call videos i have been telling you to pick it up because it is really really cool and you definitely need to pick it up the other cool thing which i mentioned in previous videos as well is that if you've picked up like a few pieces but you're still like oh, i don't know if i want it and you or you miss some pieces if you've picked up pieces it actually does get discounted so like for example um if i had picked up some of the omega meccano stuff for my hunter like let's say the hunt the helmet and the boots i picked up it would actually be cheaper instead of 15 bucks it'd actually be like what nine bucks i think so it does get cheaper if you get more pieces of it um shadow boxing 
and then blissful air ignorance for fell winter's lie which i like this ornament but at the same time i don't it's really rough um cordyception this looks okay uh prototype submersible that's funny we have skitter shell uh, come at me it's so extra uh, experimental mishap and then oh, oh this is from this season orary orary entrance or or I can't say that uh, chrysalis entrance minor effects wait minor minotaur effects my bad uh, groovadelic which is a new one from this season I think it's a pretty cool shader definitely worth a pickup that being said I always say shaders are worth a pickup because you might never know when a certain shader looks really cool with a certain set boreal char I like the shader quite a bit uh, I, I like the green a lot I'm not the biggest fan of the off-white but it is a cool off-white uh, grayscale undergrowth reef made and that is pretty much it so let me know what you guys are going to be picking up from all of the classes i might as well show you the other classes helmets because i didn't do that for the chess pieces last week which i do apologize but that's hunters titans your helmet's not that great in my opinion like legitimately and then Warlocks, uh, yours is not great either. But it does have, like, a scholarly look. So, or, like, one of those, like, uh, uh, the evil villain from fucking uh, Tarzan. The car, the, the car, the, yeah, the cartoon movie. Like, that dude. It definitely gives off that vibe of the helmet. So, for the chess piece, I guess I can show you the chess pieces that I didn't show you last week. Uh, Titans, super dope. I love this chess piece. It's super cool. Hunters, I like yours as well. Just be aware that you have to wear something super small for it to look pretty decent. Actually, this doesn't look bad at all. Uh, and then Warlocks, I actually like yours a lot as well, just because it is scholarly. Kind of like for me, it kind of reminds me like a like a college professor type of look. Like like for real, if I had to put a, like a thing on it, it would be like the Indiana Jones set. Like this belongs in a museum type shit for real. So. That is pretty much it. Let me know what you guys are going to be picking up. So I should probably also mention that if you got to this point, the reason why my videos are usually a little bit longer than they should be is because I'm updating a lot of the, my, my, the people who watch my content, I'm updating them on what I'm doing. So at the end of the video, I usually like to tell people like, oh, like this is the content I'm working on. So that way they're aware that I'm actually working on content and not just like doing nothing because again, I'm working in a bunch of content. I'm actually working on a bunch of armor sets right now. Currently, the DND armor set I'm going to be picking up probably tomorrow or Friday, because Friday is payday. Um, after the DND set, we're, I'm working on the the Siege Breaker stuff, which just got announced yesterday, I think, because I didn't see it on Tuesday. Well, I saw it on Tuesday, but I couldn't find it. This armor, that's two already, and that's both of them from Eververse. And I'm not even mentioning the season pass armor because that once I get that, I'm definitely going to be reviewing that as well. And then from there, I'm oh, the intrepid discovery stuff or intrepid stuff uh, for all the classes. I might still be doing that. So that's already four armor sets right now. And I've already reviewed like two armor sets, not including the raid armor as well. So I'm doing a lot for that. Not only that, I'm also doing exotic videos as well. And it's just so, so much content that I really don't have that much time to do it all. But thankfully, I've found a groove where I can just do it all. And then during the week that weekends, I can really push out a lot of content because uh, a lot of the content that was pushed out this week, I did during Saturday and Sunday. So needless to say, I'm working on a lot of content for people who watch my content regularly. I appreciate you coming up to this point. Again, I have a lot of content that I'm going to be going through. I'm hopefully going to try to make to do more with just this channel. I want to post more stuff than just Destiny 2. Uh, the new 
Dawn Trail, I think it's called, for the new expansion for Final Fantasy XIV just came out. I was looking at uh, Elder Scrolls Online's fashion, and that does look really cool. Final Fantasy XIV's fashion is fucking amazing, and I really want to showcase a lot of it. That being said, I'm not a veteran in that game, which means I still need to farm a bunch of armor. So that and I have to level up a lot of characters as well because a lot of characters are not leveled up either. So that's another problem. But I will most likely be playing that story and posting it on my second channel or this channel, probably both if I'm being honest, um, just because I do want to start posting more stuff than just Destiny 2 because I play more than just Destiny 2. I, a lot of it is just Destiny 2, unfortunately, but that's more so just because I have a lot of content to make in Destiny 2. Once I start pushing out other content, I'm going to start easing up on Destiny 2 a little bit, specifically like just making the editing a little bit easier so that way it's a lot more uh, easier to produce, I guess. So. Let me know what you guys think. I appreciate you guys coming to this point. Be safe. I will see you guys later.